With snow on the way tomorrow morning, roads could get a little messy for kids heading off to school on the bus. Nine first warning meteorologist Sarah Walters went to one local district to find out how they are preparing. I'm out at the Kenton County Board of Education where we're talking to Superintendent Terry Cox Cruy about the wintry weather that is heading our way. So just to give you an idea on a personalized forecast here for you, we are keeping an eye on some very cold air that is sinking in from Canada. This is some Arctic air. So with that possibility of some snow, how do you guys prepare for that here in Kenton County? Well, we already have started checking the weather maps so we know what crews to send out. But about 4 o'clock, we'll have people on the roads checking the conditions so we can make a decision by 5 o'clock. And right around that time you're going to be sending your buses out is when that snow will be ending. You can see from this map, we are going to have cold air in place and that light snow. But by 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, it will be dying down. Still, the damage will have been done about an inch of snow. Even an inch of snow can cause problems in Kenton County because of of some of the rural roads. The southern part of our county typically has, we have more difficulty um, with buses on the roads. They're narrow, they're curvy, um, there are a lot of hills and valleys. When the county assesses the conditions in the morning, the schools could see a late start. A late start would be decided if we don't know yet what the conditions of the road are going to be. For instance, the snow tomorrow, if it's ending around 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, we may not be able to make the call that soon. If roads like Highway 17 behind me here in Kenton County get messy, the schools could have a late start. If that's the case, we'll be scrolling that information at the bottom of your screen, and for parents, the school district will notify you by an automated system. Meteorologist Sarah Walters, 9 on your side, Fort Wright.